Well, hello there everyone and welcome back to the nursery and welcome back to another video. So today is theme Thursday. This is actually going to be my second week in a row that I'm participating in theme Thursday. And uh, yeah, so anyway, we have in front of us, this is baby Melissa and she is the one of the newest babies that I have in my collection. Uh, and we used her last week for theme Thursday did her first changing uh, we should have put a white onesie underneath this outfit because part of her cloth kind of shows but we're gonna remedy that but um, anyway so I thought I would go ahead and and uh, and change her again this week uh, because uh, we got some new stuff for her if you go into my channel and watch my last video uh, it was some uh, things that I got from Sharon from Born Again Reborns that she had left over for her. Uh, this is where this baby came from. So yeah, um, anyway, I'll show you what we're going to put on her today. So we're going to add this um, and this blanket that I have on the boppy here. It's just a, it's a blanket that I got some time back and it's a, it's, it's got some Sherpa material here. It's pink and white. And then over here on the reverse side, it's got like, um, it's still really soft and it's got more like a, um, cottony feel kind of thing so yeah it's a really really nice blanket but anyway we're going to go ahead and put this little white onesie on her underneath her outfit so we're going to use this one and then we're going to put on her this uh it's a it's a six month outfit from amy co and this is a, a little designer outfit that uh that Sharon had for her so we're gonna put that on her today um, it's a beautiful day out today the Sun is out but it's still a little chilly it's like um, oh gosh I want to say it's like 58 degrees so it's it's really really pretty but it's still just a little bit windy and and so forth so um, I thought you know we would just kind of do some long sleeves because we don't want her to catch a chill you know how that goes but anyway uh, before we actually get started I wanted to thank all of my new subscribers for subscribing I am up to, oh my gosh, 87 subscribers, so yay, go me. <laughs> so thank all of you for subscribing. And uh, I also do, uh, uh, for those of you that may not know, I also have another channel, and I will link all that in the description section. I have another channel called Sharon Sanctuary, and that's more of my crafting channel. I do a lot of, um, oh, Alex, you silly boy. Um, I have a golden retriever here. I've actually got two golden retrievers here, and my younger one, uh, his full name is Alexander Graham Bell. He likes to come over and sniff the babies when I have him out for a little bit. Um, he used to do it quite a bit, but now I think he's kind of used to seeing them, so he just kind of gives like a little sniff and then walks away, but he, he wants attention. Well, anyway, as I was saying, I do have another channel called Called Sharon Sanctuary and it is more of my crafting channel. Oh you silly boys. <laughs> I got Caleb and Alex here. Oh my goodness. Um, and so I have um, adult coloring books. I have um, oh gosh I have uh, journals, fountain pen related videos, uh, planner stuff. So it's pretty much like writing and planners and coloring and and that kind of stuff and some crochet stuff because I am a crocheter. Uh, so I have, I, in fact, I just put up over there yesterday a crochet and gab video. So I will link all of my uh, all of that in the description section um, as well as my Sims gameplay channel um, in case you're interested in that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with our theme Thursday here. So uh, we'll just do some general chit chat as we as we do this and uh hey dear i'm getting picked on by the boys yep. <laughs> so my husband is going to be heading outside he's doing a little bit of work out there but um he's gonna grab himself a sandwich and then um and then um do some uh outside stuff but anyway uh figured uh, I'd go ahead and make some videos while uh, while he was busy doing that and uh, I really do enjoy the theme Thursday so I did I did forget to announce what theme Thursday actually was so um, the theme is actually pandas however uh, she always has an alternative theme um, and for this time it is um, black red and white okay so you can either have all three colors together uh, or you can have one color or you can have like one color with a little bit of another color or all three colors or two colors or just the one color. So black, red, or white is the alternative theme, but the main theme is pandas. And I don't think I have anything with, uh, with, with pandas. So, um, yeah, so I, I thought I would just go ahead and, and do the, the black and white. So the outfit that I actually showed you is the, um, it had, it's black with some, uh, it's black with some, uh, with a, with a white heart on it. So yeah, 
and we're just gonna slip this off over her head okay so yeah we definitely need to put a little onesie on her uh, because her cloth this is a really cute outfit but her cloth was showing unless I kind of had it pulled down quite a bit but yeah so I ended up picking up a bunch of um, onesies from Amazon and uh, I picked I picked uh, quite a few up uh, of them in different sizes you know since I now have quite a few different sized babies uh, yeah, so then we're not gonna then we're not gonna ha be short on white onesies, are we? <laughs> and it just I guess it depends on how many babies I end up adding to the collection. So, but yeah, um, <laughs> oh my goodness me! So I I can't believe how quickly my collection is growing, um, both in babies as well as um, accessories and baby clothes and stuff for them. It's crazy, but. Yeah, um, actually most of the things I found, and I, I actually had some brand new things from Carter's, you know, that I got in some time back. Um, I actually shopped on the Carter's website, and that was part of my very, very first um, stash of uh, baby clothes I had. And I still have them, you know, I, I still have them over there in the stash, but um, they were all brand new. And I thought, you know, I mean, they're cute, but I just, I kind of feel like it was going to take a long time for me to really add too much to the collection at that rate because, um, you know, brand new stuff is kind of expensive. And uh, so then I discovered, um, you know, a lot of people were saying that they go thrifting and uh, our, well, with everything closed now, it's really hard to get out and actually do that. So I've been doing what I call online thrifting <laughs> and uh, that means I've been doing quite a bit of uh, I, I had done quite a bit of shopping on um, eBay because you can find lots um, and they call them lots you know when they have um, quite a few items in the in the listing so I found lots of, of baby clothes different lots of, uh, of baby clothes and uh, I've had some really, really good luck. Um, you guys have seen my hauls. If you go onto my channel, um, you can look at you can look at the hauls I've had. And what I've done is I am um, I now have playlists up on the channel. So um, if you want to, like for example, if you want to see my haul videos, you can go on to that playlist and look at all the haul videos I did. If you if there's a particular baby that you enjoy, like if 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 um, if you have a particular baby in my collection, like if one of them is your favorite, um, I have it separated out into playlists for that baby. Um, I've also got box openings separated out into a playlist for box openings, um, like delivery days and, and things like that. So um, you, can, uh, you can go onto my channel and look at that if you're interested in box openings or if there's a particular baby I have that you that you really really like and you just you want to see videos featuring that baby I'm also separating things out into theme Thursdays that way you can that way you can um, that way you can see that and after we get her dressed I do want to compare her uh, and I'm, I'm kind of all over the place with this, but I do want to show you, I do want to bring out Willow because she is actually, um, I haven't changed her since I got her yet. Um, I, I promise I am going to actually make a, a changing video for her, but um, she's actually already, um, for what she's wearing now, she actually is um, in Theme Thursday clothing because she, uh, when she came to me, she was in red. And um, I want to bring her out because I want to, She's pretty much like the same size as Melissa, but I want to show you the difference because Auntie Jenna made Willow look more like a toddler. Okay, so yeah. So I will show you that. Okay. So let's see what the best way to get this on her. I think the best way is to just put her legs in first. Okay. Because this is all in one piece. This is like a, this is long pants and it's just kind of all in one piece. So I think we'll put her legs in first and then we'll just, we'll go from there. So, but yeah, I will bring Willow out so I can show her to you guys. And, uh, and yeah, so that way you guys can, even though she's about the same size as Melissa, um, we're going to see a big difference because Auntie Jenna made her look more like a toddler. Yeah, so I think what we're going to do is I think we'll pull we'll pull the arms up we'll put the arms on her here and then we'll snap her legs in because it looks like the the legs uh, in this you know definitely come 
and snacked all the way. So I think we'll go ahead and put her arms in and then we'll and then we'll we'll button up the back and then we'll we'll tackle the legs. All right. So yeah. But this is a uh, this is an outfit that Sharon said that that uh, that she definitely had for her. So yeah, we're we're going to go ahead and put this on her. Oop. Bring that up just a little bit. Got to bring that up over your little bum bum right there. There we go. We don't want to stretch it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I will bring Willow out um, because she is actually in theme Thursday clothing, and I and I will do. Um, I actually will do her first changing in another video. Um, another video that I do want to make is um, I'm going to be making an updated reborn collection video because uh, for the benefit of my new subscribers because we do actually have quite a few new subscribers so um, you know for the benefit of our new folks I want to go ahead and um, and do that um, now I think for that video I'm probably just going to show the reborns I do have two Ashton Drake babies as well as one Paradise Galleries baby and I might I might include them in the video I don't know or I might just make a another separate video um, I will be doing the I am gonna actually be redoing the um, Cabbage Patch Kid collection video and oh I need to I need to get more situated on here because I'm having a hard time reaching her um, but yeah so I will be doing that and uh, I'll um, it, I haven't added any new Cabbage Patch Kids to the collection since I made the video but because uh, when I showed the Babyland exclusive kids, um, I was out of frame quite a bit, so I wanted to go ahead and redo that video to make it better, and then um, I still need to show the vintage kids that I have. So yeah, Ugh, having a hard time with these buttons. Oh my goodness me. All right, so there's that. Okay, now we'll go ahead and do the legs. We'll s she's got... Uh, Oh my goodness, yeah, this is, this is, uh, I think this might be kind of long on her, but, you know, so this has got, okay, this has got buttons, I guess, that, that make the legs, uh, that hook the legs together. Uh, yeah, but this looks really cute on her. Sharon, you are so right. This looks really cute on her, uh, but yeah, she had she definitely had this one for Melissa. Now, Melissa is the Lucy Sculpt by Tina Cuey. And when she was in Sharon's collection, um, Sharon called her Lucy. So she kept her sculpt name. So she was Lucy. But with me, she is Melissa Lucille. Uh, because I just, I think that name just kind of suits her. And uh, I think, um, you know, that way Lucy can still be a part of her name. A form of Lucy can still be a part of her name. Yeah. All right, I think we'll start this other leg. So we're just gonna keep the same socks on her. We have some socks on her. And I think once we get these legs snapped up, I think it'll, I'll kind of fluff it up a little bit and then I think it'll, I think it'll be better. Because right now, like when you, when you kind of pull it down, it looks really long on her legs, but I think we can fix that. And my nails are getting really unruly, you guys. Um, I've had, uh, I've had these acrylics on for a while, and I want to say I've had this, um, I got them done probably, I want to say maybe over two weeks ago, and between, between two and three weeks, they really, really start to grow out, and they start to get really unruly, and sometimes it's really hard to manage things when, when they get that way. I'm used to kind of having shorter nails. <laughs> um, I was always a, an avid nail biter, and uh, so I put acrylics on because um, it keeps me from messing with them and it also uh, my nails are also kind of brittle and flexible and stuff so this kind of helps quite a bit so but anyway that just means I have to go in like every two to three weeks to get a fill in and it's kind of about that time and by the time I'm ready to go back in they're just really unruly and they're just a little bit too long for my liking uh, but um, with everything closed down, it's going to be a while before I'm actually able to get in there to have something done with them. So I think in the meantime, um, I don't know how long these are going to stay because um, if I let them go too long, they, they really start lifting. And uh, they really start lifting and, and they, they kind of want to crack. Well, they kind of want to break a little bit. It, it just depends. But um, I do get, 
you know, when you're doing dishes and, and messing in water and stuff, um, they will lift quite a bit. So I'm thinking, you know, before I'm able to get back in there, um, I may have some issues. So I don't know how long these are going to stay. I'm going to try to keep them, I'm going to try to keep them nice as long as I can, but you know, no promises. And, um, yeah, um, what else was I going to say? Oh, um, and yeah, I, it, it looks like we're going to be under shelter in place for a bit longer. Um, I think they're now looking toward the end of April for that. So, I guess it's a good thing, but it's it can be it's going to be frustrating for a lot of people because people do get stir crazy, and uh, I, and I don't know how some of these small businesses are going to recover. I really don't, because uh, it's you know they're they're going to be hurting, they're really going to be hurting, or they I mean they are hurting. You know, there's a lot of them that are hurting. So, um, so yeah, um, I just you know I just I don't know how they're gonna I just don't know how they're gonna make it. But, you know, uh, these are just some really, really strange times. I mean, I was saying, I think in my crochet video on my other channel, that um, this is the strangest thing that's that's kind of ever happened, like in my living memory. And uh, so it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting to see what the world is going to be like once things kind of get back to a semblance of normalcy. I don't know, but. I guess time will tell. We're just going to have to wait and see. It's just going to be a big waiting game. That's all, you know, that's all we're going to, that's all we can, that's all we can say, I guess. And uh, just have to try to make the best out of a, out of a not so ideal situation. And, and uh, I think the, the bottom line is, is, is uh, you know, just to try to keep safe and healthy and, and, you know, do what you can to, uh, you know, to not catch this thing because um, it's, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Um, all right, so there, there she is. There's little Melissa in this cute little outfit, and I think it's quite a bit better with that white onesie on underneath it. Um, but let me just, let me just bring her over here so I can show her to you guys just a little bit. But oh my gosh, um, she looks so adorable in this. She absolutely looks so adorable in this. Um, I might actually have a red hair bow that I could put on her. Eh, you know, I think I'll just leave that off um, because there really isn't red in this outfit. So I think I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm going to let me go ahead and grab Willow and uh, and I will be right back. All right, guys. So we have Willow here. And uh, yeah, so oh, I think what I'm going to do is um, let me let me move. Let me just move Melissa over just a little bit. I don't think they're both going to fit on this boppy. So I'm going to put her down for just a minute. And let me go ahead and just show you Willow here. So this is Willow. She is already in a red outfit. And um, her diaper is wanting to fall down just a little bit. So I'm going to fix up her, her diaper just a little bit. There we go. So this is what Auntie Jenna had her in. Um, it looks more pink, but it kind of could be... It looks kind of pinky red, in my opinion. It's kind of a darker pink, so I guess it could pass as red. <laughs> Uh, pink, I guess, is kind of a variation of red. But anyway, so here is Willow. And I wanted to just kind of compare sizes with, with you guys a little bit um, as far as her and, and Melissa go. So let me let me grab Melissa. So um, they're, I'd say they're both about 22 inches long. Um, they both have about the same size head, you know, same size body. Um, Melissa's arms are a little bit more folded up, I think. I'm thinking, let me, let me just try to get a better measurement here. So they're, oops, I'd say they have about the same size body. Maybe, maybe Willow is a little bit longer. Yeah, I think they're about the same size body, um, about the same size limbs. They're both, I would say about 22 inches, like I said. Um, so, but you can see that, that Melissa looks more uh, babyish. Um, I would say she's, uh, anywhere from about a three to a six size months baby. But Willow, although she's about the same size and length and, and, uh, she's a little chunkier, I think, than, than Melissa, um, as far as her stuffing and, and all that go. But, uh, she, you know, Auntie Jenna kind of made her look more like a toddler. As you can see, her head doesn't fall back as much. She weighted her head a little bit differently, um, for, um, a toddler, I guess, flavor, um, 
whereas you know they can they can hold their head up straight so it still kind of falls back a little bit but it's not weighted as heavily um not like uh, melissa's or some of the other babies and stuff but um but you can see she looks more like a toddler now this i believe was the willow flower sculpt um and she came from bountiful baby um and i mean you could obviously you know if you're an artist you could definitely um you know she definitely would be baby size but um um I guess Auntie Jenna felt that she would make a good toddler too, so she'd be kind of a small toddler, I think. But you can see that with the hair on her, uh, she's got more um, of an older, like more of toddler hair, like more, uh, more of an older, older child hair. So yeah, but that is Willow, and I wanted to just kind of show her to you guys and uh, and just kind of compare sizes. So you know, quite a bit, you know. Um, this, this art form, like any other art form, it's so subjective and, um, you know, uh, what one artist sees, another, another artist will see something totally different. So, um, Willow, um, although she could, um, the sculpt, you know, she obviously could still be a baby, but, um, obviously Auntie Jenna saw toddler in her. So anyway, that is our theme Thursday for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, if you did go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And, uh, oh my gosh, she is so cute. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? <laughs> I really like her in this outfit. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I really like her in this outfit. And, uh, she feels really cuddly in it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that. She really, really does feel very, very cuddly in it. So, um, anyway, that is our theme Thursday. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment and tell us what you think. And... If you have not done so already, subscribe to the channel and of course hit that notification bell so you will be notified when I have new videos uploaded. You all have a great day and we'll talk to you in the next video. All right, bye everybody.